Hey everybody, my name is Elias Dell and thank you for checking out this video. Today I'm going to be showing you a short little guide on how to use a webcam on your computer, which normally is just plug and play, but this one's a little particular. So I sold my Windows PC to get a M1 MacBook Air because I thought it would improve my productivity, and in some ways it did. But I wanted to make a video of me with some Yu-Gi-Oh cards for another video I made, and I wanted to have a headshot like this, but I also wanted a top-down shot, and I didn't really have a way of doing that. I had a webcam, but I didn't have any way of utilizing it. So because I had to figure it out, I actually wanted to make a video in hopes that I could help someone else figure it out. For this, you'll just need a couple of things, a computer, a webcam, and some way to plug it in and connect it. Now, most computers actually will have a USB, USB A, I think it is, and the M1 MacBooks do not. They have a USB C, two of them. So I did have to purchase a dongle or an adapter. This one will be linked in the description. Um, it works. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of it. It falls out sometimes if it's not put it in the proper way or the right angle or anything, but it gets the job done and it's pretty cheap. Uh, but I'll leave a link to a couple of options down there. So if you want to check those out, you can do that. Alternatively, if your computer already has a USB-A, then you don't even have to worry about getting any adapters or dongles. All you have to do is plug it in. But most computers will come default with a some kind of way to record. I believe with the Mac system they use the Mac system, I believe, uses the FaceTime app that you can use to record. I think the video format and compression is not ideal, so it's going to be pretty low quality, and it might cap out at 720p, whereas the webcam I'll be using is the Logitech C920, which is this guy right here, and it actually shoots in 1080p 60 frames per second, I believe. Or no, I could be wrong on the 60 frames. I know it does 30 frames per second at 1080p, but if I use that default on the FaceTime app, it's not going to do that. So we do need to download one application, but it is completely free. Again, link for that download will be in the description or just follow along with the video. But let's go and get into the tutorial and I'll show you a couple of examples. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the installation and setting up process. So for this video, like I said, I will be using the M1 MacBook Air and let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you want to do is search for OBS, OBS, and you're just going to do a Google search for that, not.com. Usually the first thing should be here, that link, you're going to click on this, and right here you'll have a couple of options to download it. I'm on a Mac, so I would click this button. Now, I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to go through that process again, but whatever system you're on, just download and install it. Once it has been installed, we're going to go ahead and open up the application. And then in the bottom left, you should see an uh, empty section. You're going to right click or just click the plus button. This is going to be your scene. Now it doesn't matter what you name it for this. I'm just going to leave it as default. And then next to the scene box, you're going to have your sources over here. You can either right click to add or click the plus button in the bottom. From here, you're going to do video capture device, name it, whatever you want, or leave it as is. And then you're going to select your device. Now, default you will have the FaceTime camera which you can kind of see right here hi once you plug in your uh, um, webcam then you should see a secondary option so I'm gonna do that now okay well, now that's plugged in we can click the drop down and you will see the second option is the HD Pro webcam C920 now you can see that it is connected there right under here you have your preset for 1280 by 720 is the default, but for higher resolution, because this webcam is capable, we're going to select that. Now we're gonna hit okay, and that is pretty much all you have to do. There's more that you can do to tweak it, but honestly, normally that's good enough. And you kind of see my hand, it's going from there. Now, if you wanna get a little more experimental, you can right click the, um, what's it called, the, the source for properties. And then right here, you should be able to change your, uh, sorry, un uncheck the preset option. Oh, let it focus. And then come down here, you can change it to 1920 by 720. And then for the FPS, for the FPS, you can then come in here and change it anywhere from five to 30. I shoot all my videos in basically 24 frames per second, but the camera can only do it in 23.976. So I will be using this because I want it to match up with my timeline when I'm doing videos for like editing and stuff. Most people will use their webcams at 60 frames per second, depending on what they're doing. Most streamers use 60 because it looks smoother. 
Most YouTubers use 24 or 30, depending on their frame rate of their cameras. But that is how you do that. It's gonna look a little weird on camera here, but that's how you do it. And then all you do is come over here and click start recording. And that's pretty much it for this software. Pretty simple, not too bad. And then you just adjust it however you want. Now, one thing I wanna show you really quick, if you do have the any laptop that has a webcam, and you want it to record both at the same time, go in here, add video capture device once again, hit okay. Name it if you want to, otherwise just choose. Then I'm gonna choose a webcam, and then I can change this from 1280 all the way down to 320, but the webcam on this one is only 720. Then you can, you know, change the size of it, move it around. So if I wanted to, using a webcam and my Webcam, both webcams, I can have an entire scene. And this is what I mean when I was doing my Yu-Gi-Oh! unboxings and I can show you top-down shots of whatever I'm doing. But that's pretty much it. Alright, and that's pretty much how you connect a webcam to your computer in this specific scenario, a Logitech C920 to the M1 MacBook Air. Again, this kind of translates for most computers and most webcams. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. If I can, I'll be happy to help you out. And if you, again, if you need links to any of the things to purchase or download, everything will be in the description box below. And uh, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed, hope it helped. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.